Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. It's a lovely Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this on Facebook, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's see what the cards have in store for us today. Okay, there's not an overall theme, there's not any cards in conflict with each other, so let's start off looking at the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, this is one of the major arcana, so it's talking about spiritual forces that are acting within our lives, and this is the card that describes evolution and new opportunities. So we're experiencing some growth in our lives we're being guided toward a new path or a new evolution or where um, things are evolving in our lives which are presenting us new opportunities uh, in different areas of our lives uh, different opportunities to grow in to expand in and to um, pursue as we continue our continual process of uh, life evolution growth and eventually death and rebirth. And then the Ace of Pentacles, and Aces are also about new ideas or concepts or beginnings. So with this uh, new opportunity that's coming, it can be a new beginning in a material situation. Uh, it could be home life, could be money, finances, job, health. Um, anything of the physical nature, uh, we're gonna experience new beginnings in there from, that stem from this evolution of this card of uh, evolution of the wheel of fortune that brings into um, that brings into our awareness these new opportunities and these new ideas and concepts uh, that are presenting themselves to us and new opportunities that we can take in our lives as far as that growth goes uh, new ways to grow and new financial or job related or monetary or home life or health situations that will be occurring because of this evolution that we're having and what's very important is that we're patient with this the queen of cups and queens are all about patience and internalized energy so we're taking this evolution and we're internalizing it and we're making this new opportunity this new beginning in the material things really bringing it into our core values and our core understanding of things and really uh, creating some strong feelings about it and internalizing those feelings and really nurturing them and mastering them uh, mastery on an inner level uh, this can also involve planning as well so we're in the planning stages of this and we're being guided by our feelings throughout this planning how we feel about things um, and remember, the cups are feelings. They could be good feelings or bad feelings, but they're feelings nonetheless. And there's nothing here to indicate bad feelings. So we're being guided by our feelings as we go into this new this new situation, this new physical situation, and we follow the evolutionary process with these new new opportunities that are coming forward and presenting themselves to us today. So in all, as we're moving through this process of these new beginnings and these new evolutions, we're really, it's really important that we internalize these changes that we're making, these new opportunities that are having. We sort out any feelings that we have about them and we really develop a feeling of nurturing for the situation to help foster these new opportunities and these new um, beginnings that are starting off for us. So as we go through our day, make sure that you look for ways where you can foster the, that nurturing attitude toward these new beginnings that are happening for you. 
So that's what we have for the cart in the cards today. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like my page on Facebook, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow my blog. The links for all of my social media are on the About page on Facebook and in the description below on YouTube. If you'd like to book a reading with me, they do start off at $5. You can contact me through Facebook, through YouTube, through my email address at lodgemagician at gmail.com, or you can go to my Facebook business page or my webpage and book a reading through there. Thank you and have a wonderful day.